Do you want to become successful? Do you want freedom of choice? Earlier we heard the speaker speak about freedom is not just me going away somewhere, but the ability to choose who I can help, ability to choose what I want to do. And in order for you to be able to do that, you also have to have financial independence, right? So close your eyes for one second, okay? Imagine where you want to live. Okay? What kind of house do you want? What kind of life do you want for your children? What do you want to give to them? And that has to be real. It has to be something that you truly desire to attain. Okay? So open your eyes, and now we have to start setting goals to get to that point. Right? Every single day, we have to choose to step closer to that goal. Let's, let's think about this auditorium. Okay? This was not here before it was built, right? But before somebody wanted to build this, it came out of somebody's imagination, right? The architect dreamed, right? He envisioned this auditorium. He wanted this kind of auditorium with these kinds of seats in this location. That's exactly what I'm saying today. What kind of life, what story, what movie do you want to draw out? And in order for you to do that, you have to first plan in your head, write it on paper, and you have to follow through to accomplish those things, okay? So that's what we want to talk about. And the second thing that I want to emphasize is commitment to change, committing yourself. The first point that we're talking about is be proactive about choices that you make, okay? In, uh, CEO Park says this, he says, you are the main character. You are the ones making the choices. So if you decide that you want to do this business, then you are choosing to have the mental attitude to continue forward. So don't listen to people around you who say, oh, that's not possible. Or we heard the testimonies today, right? How much can you possibly make from just selling toothbrushes and toothpaste, right? But you have to be the one in control of that situation. You have to educate yourself and tell them, no, no, it is possible. Why? Because of this, this, and this. And you lead these individuals to become a part of the system. And you educate them with the knowledge that you obtain from the Atomy system. The second one that we're speaking about is what? Be positive about every situation that you encounter. So if you look at this, it's talking about your mental attitude. I love this quote. There's a quote that states, everybody faces defeat. Everybody faces failure. But that can become a stepping stone or a stumbling block depending on the mental attitude in which you face that situation. So number two is very important because if you are positive and optimistic about each circumstance that you choose to what react to, then what it is that you're doing is you're leading the situation. 